Minimal home gym setup. This video is for anyone considering or starting a home gym. If you have a small space or maybe you're on a budget, this video should help you determine if these pieces of equipment are right for you. I'm gonna go over some of my pros and cons of each. Starting in the corner, I have my Rogue Stubby Axle Bar. Short five foot bar, it's 1.9 inch diameter, so it's got a nice fat grip. All the standard barbell isolation workouts. The only con I would say is that it is five feet. If I could do it again, I would probably get a standard barbell way I could do landmine exercises. Next thing, Rogue high temp bumpers, the rubber bumper plates. The one con about them is they're all the same circumference. Another thing is they don't have any handles on them. Rogue's HG collars. Those are compatible with my axle bar. Also, they are compatible with other standard barbells as well. Power block dumbbells are a great adjustable dumbbell option for your home gym or your small space. They have a couple different styles. Mine specifically are the Sport 50s, so they are not the expandable version. They wish I could go up in weight. I love power blocks. If you are gonna get one pair of adjustable dumbbells, get the expandable Bet version. AB3100 adjustable bench. This bench has been great. I love the grippy texture of it. I love the aesthetic of it, the small footprint. It's got a good weight to it. I wish it had a decline option. Considering this is the only bench that I have, I would like that ability as well. Next thing I'll talk about is my conditioning piece of equipment that you see hanging back there. That's the Tidal Soft Strike 100 pound punching bag. It's got a nice even weight distribution. Sometimes with some of these other heavy bags, the weight will sink to the bottom and it will be rock solid on the bottom, but kind of soft in the middle. It's a good weight, easy on your hands and your wrists when you are punching it with or without gloves. Another cheapo piece of equipment that I have that everyone should consider is just the jump rope. I've had the $6 Walmart jump rope for about six years thing works great. I tried one of the speed ropes. I was not a fan of the speed ropes, so I just like the standard jump ropes. I've been utilizing this Titan plyo box. It's got a 12 inch side, 16 and 18 inch side. If I need to add additional height, I'll just add one of my Rogue high temp bumpers to it. And that adds another like four inches. I can stack weights on top of it. That's great. I wish I didn't have to do that. I wish I had just had the bigger version of it. I think that would be nice. I don't think I mentioned my Rogue kettlebell yet. I have a 40 pound Rogue cast iron kettlebell that I get a lot of good use out of. I wish it was um, a little bit heavier though. Uh, maybe like a 53 or a 62 pound kettlebell. Even for the home gym, something to look into is adjustable kettlebells. I know Bells of Steel has a nice adjustable kettlebell option. Pretty minimal setup. I don't think you need a bunch of equipment to get an effective workout. I'm in here every day getting after it. So it's all about just thinking of which equipment and which exercises you're gonna do, keeping it minimal, working hard. If this video helped you in any way, please consider subscribing, drop a like, leave a comment below, and let me know what you guys think. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.